goodness. <laughs> Hello. This is really uh, this is <laughs> surreal. So great. A lovely, so nice to meet, meet you. you. So nice to meet you. You've flown wow. all this way. Absolutely. Just for you. <laughs> well, and for you too. But. This is Jane. Jane. Say hi. This is David, David Atchison. So nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Really lovely. Yeah, wow. so glad you could make yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> so great. I was so um, shocked when um, we got the video that you sent because we just heard all the story of Jeremiah and the trip out from Bolsover <laughs> to Utah. Yeah. I was completely bowled over by it all. And then there is a living relative. Of course, there has to be a living relative, but <laughs> here you are in the flesh. Yes. My goodness. Yeah. It's a really wonderful story, and we're so grateful to Jeremiah for having made that trek. Well, there, there, there's so many things that um, my son currently is in Utah University. Really? Yeah. In Salt Lake City. In Salt Lake City. So he's at the, what we call the U of U, the University of the Utah. U of U, just across from the football stadium. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I was there two months ago, <sighs> went out to visit him. We may have passed each other at some point. We probably have. <laughs> So are, are you Mormons too? Yes, we are. It goes all the way back to Jeremiah when he joined the church here in England and then made his way by boat and then by covered wagon across to the Salt Lake City Valley and then helped himself to build our church edifices, our temples, what? our meeting homes. So it made quite a contribution to the community. It was given Great land story. there, I, I understand. Yes, given many, many acres and then turned that still into own farming. It? We do, actually. <laughs> and, yes, do but we? we're asking you to come and plow. <laughs> so you had to, to participate in a thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is so fascinating because I know almost nothing about my family. Mm. I was an only child mm. and my mother left when I was young, so, and came back into my life later. but. I never met her you parents. Never met her parents. Did oh, you? so it, and that's the Stokes line. That's the Stokes line. So I knew nothing about any of this at all. Hmm. So from knowing nothing yeah. to finding out so much and actually physically isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Meeting you, it's wonderful. Um, we're cousins. Yes, absolutely. It's your the first mom, relatives mom's on my mum's side. Yes, I've ever met. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Isn't that, it's marvelous. It blows me away when, right. when I think about it. Well, and it shows the strength of family, mm -hmm. right? The, the ties and the fact that there is this DNA thread that really binds us together. So uh. I have to tell a, a Torval and Dean story. And I, <laughs> I, I apologize because it's about my mother who passed away 30 years ago. You are the reason that we got a color television in our home. Ah. <laughs> Kidding. Because my mother loved ice skating. She loved ice dancing. So, 1984, Winter Olympics, mm -hmm. she turned to my dad and she said, honey, we are getting a color TV before the Olympics start. <laughs> because uh. I have got to see Torval and Dean dance. That's oh, a wonderful nice. story. And if only my mother knew she would be bowled over for about one minute and then she'd embrace you. Aww. And then you'd be part of the family. Aww. So, yeah. So now we are. Yeah, now and now we are. Yeah. Wow. So anyway, thank you. I've, we've, I've had a color TV in my life ever since 1984. But I'm glad we then, bought color we into all, your life. We're, we're all black and white. I do have a surprise for you. We are going to place a real-time call to my family in Utah. I don't think I can take anymore. 